So are you a Chinese bootleg or legit Spike Viper? We will see on next video if you're locked or not. He seems to be Chinese bootleg. All right, we'll work on the light reactor today. Um, so this needs a lot of work. It doesn't look very attractive either. I'm kind of disappointed in how like poorly. Oh God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons today. What is up with me? Sorry guys. I don't mean to be an absolute noob. Well, I am an absolute noob, but let's clean up. Okay, we need to figure out how to get the polonium to play nice here. So I, I've got an idea. Um, it's not my greatest idea, but if we just clone it and delete it at the bottom, it'll let out. <laughs> this may be a little bit dumb, but I'm gonna try it. Wait, oh, there we go, okay. That's, oh, that's much better. But I accidentally deleted the void at the bottom. <laughs> Whoops. There's no real point at all to turn it into a laser. I think we should probably just react it and use that to make energy. Um, I, I think the laser idea was cool, but we're just not going to get enough. I've accepted that fact. We're not going to get enough to make a proper laser. Um, it's sad, but it's true, and trying to do it is just not going to get me very far. However, what I can do is grab this rapid heat conductor and try my best to make a generator. This is such a roundabout and inefficient way to make electricity, it's kind of dumb. But, you know, I'm me. <laughs> If it wasn't dumb, would I be doing it? Probably not. All right, so let's see what kind of temperatures we can get by using our photon here, our photon friend. The nice thing is this is stable. This entire process here has slowly, slowly given rise to an actual like productive system. All right, so this, oh wow, that does get pretty warm, doesn't it? 400, 500, ooh. Oh, a photon got in. See, how is that happening? Where are the photons coming in from? Okay, I have to put better shielding around this clearly. Um, something is happening that should not be happening. Okay, the pressure is getting less intense now. Oh, Neutron leaked out there. So we are actually getting a good amount of Isotope Z. I don't know if that's enough, though. Uh, I feel like that's not enough for the amount of reaction that we're going to be doing. But who am I to tell you? I could be right, could be wrong. We need to filter the void. <laughs> yes. So it doesn't kill the Neutron. Oh, shoot, you're right. Hmm. That is actually a good point. Bouncing the neutrons back is... something that would be good, but, like, I don't think there's any legitimate way for me to pull that off. There are a lot of neutrons just hanging around in there, though. The issue is that they're kind of just going back and forth. Um, if we could convince them to like go up instead, that would be nice. But I feel like anything I put into this would cause major- Ah, oh, you know what, I'll try one thing. I've got an idea. Everyone gets scared the moment I say that. Like, oh god, he's got an idea, run away. Oh, this isn't the worst idea ever. It's probably not great, but it's... it exists. What if I just put, like, a uh, funnel here? That is uh, certainly getting a lot more neutrons to smack into the acid, so... Yeah, look at all of that! Getting a bit more. Alright, so that's good, because obviously the isotope Z reactor needs isotope Z. Um, 
So now the question becomes, how are we going to pull this off the actual reaction stage? Um, first off, like I said before, I think that we should throw insulation around this so that we're not wasting our heat. Something, something, heat is expensive. Man, I wonder how the powder toy people knew that that was my actual account. Probably they just checked the date on it. I made it like years ago. Years ago. That's kind of funny. I hope I'm not causing them too much trouble. Poor moderation team. I, I did think of the fact that making videos on such an old game might cause a little bit of strain on the uh, community, but I feel like giving attention to the game is better than the alternative, which is not giving attention to the game, but... If a uh, Powder Toy moderator or anything ever wants to talk and, like, yell at me, I'm, I'm cool. Cool with that. Normally I do it, like, here, but that just is dumb. I'm learning, alright? I am slowly but surely learning. Mods are gone. God, I need to get myself some new mods. All my mods do is abandon me. <laughs> cry, cry, cry. Alright. That is probably an excessive amount of cooling. Um, but I also don't know how warm this is actually going to get. Okay, LN2. And this side is happy 22 degrees, and this side is negative. Okay, great. Very happy with that. Alright, it's... It's time to see if we can get our beautiful loop running. Uh, we just need to throw a quick fan here so that we can ensure that the steam goes this way and that the steam then goes this way. But other than that, uh, it, this should just run in a pretty clean loop. Oh, look at it go! And it cools down on that end. Mmm. It turns into ice, which is not exactly what I want, but... I guess ice is cold, so good enough. <laughs> is that acid? That is acid! Darn it! Oh, and it's breaking the store as well. Uh... Uh, I'm having a bad time. Alright, so acid is giving me a really, really hard time, which means the only thing we can do to deal with the acid is burn it. So the, the answer is simple. We just have to burn it more. <laughs> more fire. Earlier. Come on. Come on. Wow, this is really insane. Okay, a single one. How about a single cooler? Really? Uh huh. This is actually staying at 200 degrees. Um, that's pretty impressive, but this loop is just really having a hard time. I'm kind of shocked at how hard of a time it's- Oh, there we go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Okay, it's it's actually starting to run properly now. Mm. Okay, I can dump some of the water because there is a little bit too much water in the loop. Oh, look at that! It's running! Oh my god, all of that work. We have a working light reactor. We're actually using photons <laughs> from Isotope Z being created from acid and neutrons. Oh, wow! It's actually functioning! Oh, this is just barely above a hundred, but it's enough. It is enough. The question is if it's going to run out of Isotope Z. It seems to be stable, but I think it's taking a little bit more than it's creating. A little bit more. But as it stands, this looks really good. I'm very happy. Ooh. Alright! 
That looks good. I need to repair this because this is damaged. I'll try to make it look good. I'm not going to get it perfect, uh, but... Eh, good enough. Eh. <laughs> okay, and then we just have to... <laughs> wow, amazing. Okay, this should heat up. Uh, there's probably a material that gets even hotter when it's heat. Oh, probably tungsten? Hmm, let's see if I replace this with tungsten if it gets hotter. Does anyone know which metal heats up the fastest with electric? Oh, yeah, tungsten heats up really well. All right. Light bulb moment. Get it? Because light bulbs were made with tungsten. Ha ha! Very funny. Uranium heats up the fa- We're not making uranium cables, all right? I already almost got in trouble that other time I tried to, you know, put nuclear products into a consumer product. Alright? We don't need to get, you know, involved with FCC again. It wouldn't even be the FCC. I feel like that would be DHS who would be dealing with that. Something something nuclear boy scout something something. Alright, Tungsten, do your magic. Oh, yes! Alright. Very nice, and then, uh, put a little bit of a in around it. All right. Very nice. Oh, that's a look of that pad. Could be far worse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Use mercury cables at 4 Kelvin. Yes! Mercury cables! I was talking about this on Discord. Why don't we have mercury cables? This is the reason that we need mercury cables in all households. <laughs> oh my god, look! It works! <laughs> this is the least efficient way that I could possibly boil things for tea. But damn it! <laughs> We're using a light reactor <laughs> to boil our tea. Is this not the definition of first world problems? <laughs> this is. This is. We can use extremely expensive and dangerous polonium and acid in order to create an unknown element that's super expensive and rare in order to function a light reactor which could explode at any moment in order to boil water just like a normal generator would nothing special there and then we use that to generate enough electricity oh wait no the the power is back flowing this is cheating oh no one moment guys we got a problem There we go. Okay, you guys want to see soap in the kettle. First off, I am going to give you guys the ability to play with this yourself. I created what is the least efficient way to boil water for use in the creation of tea. Yes, this is my real account. Thanks for watching. Happy face. Alright, there we go. I can publish. See, now you guys can play with my tea kettle. Mmm, <laughs> alright, let's add soap. <laughs> uh, because this is what my community wants, right? To see 600 degree soap. Mmm. Yeah, the soap certainly does warm up. I mean, there's no questioning it. It's just warm soap. We can add soap to the other parts of the process as well. Oh, shoot. Acid is slowly eating this away again. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's eh, alright. It's a little bit unstable, but things happen. Just fill this with soap. 
so. Oh, the ass- Oh! Jeez! Excuse me! Oh, the soap exploded! Aw. Oh, now the line's full of soap. Oh well. Oh well. Oh my god, the soap's going everywhere. <laughs> it really... It really is going everywhere, isn't it? Mmm. <laughs> It's not able to go through this, so I guess I'll just dig a little hole for it. There we go. Clump. <laughs> no! I, I don't think the soap is uh, doing much for us, I'll be honest. I feel like it's just breaking it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say the soap is not improving the situation at all. Alright! I... I think I actually did it! I made a light reactor! Um, I'm quite proud actually. I- I did not think this was ever going to work. I thought this was really a shot in the dark. I didn't think we'd get this far, but lo and behold... We- we made a light reactor. Uh, so given an infinite amount of polonium and an infinite amount of acid, we can heat up tea. I see many practical uses for this. I can't name any from the top of my head, but I'm sure they exist. It's time to bring Ace Attorney back to, like, non-egg. Ah, it's time to work on something new! I... I'm afraid to say it. I think we've finished this project. Which is fun, but now it's time to work on something new. Did I upload this? No, it's private. Okay, I was about to say. I'm kind of curious... Uh, get out of here. Ah, oh, look, it's light reactor. Yay! Did people con- Oh, wow, people con- Oh, what kind souls. Look at these memes. I've got upvotes. How exciting. Mmm. Mmm. I'm still- I'm still happy with my mini plasma reactor. I do like my mini plasma reactor. That That's really what has shot the channel off that creation. Alright. What are we gonna make next? Hmm. I've already thrown soap into reactors, that's not new. I kind of want to make a robot. I, I feel like- I feel like that would be fun. I don't know how we'd make it interact with anything, though. <sighs> because... I've seen people make androids and stuff in this, but... Hmm... Alright. 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 Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I did the project for today. I did the best I could. But... We're gonna leave more to next time so that I can work on things with the Discord and community because I have a lot of programming to do to fix up things with the website and other things. So, for now, I'm just gonna ask you guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And before you leave, please consider if you enjoyed the stream. Uh, Coca is already throwing it into chat, but make sure you go out and check out discord.gg slash spookvooper. Spookvooper, we have an economy, we have a stock market, we have a government, and you can become a part of it. You can become a Vooperian, join the nation, and uh, get to talk to me in person because I'm really active on the Discord. So if you want any of that, you should go over to discord.gg slash spookvooper before I melt your dreams. Wow, that was really dramatic. I know. Such drama.
All right. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Hashtag soaps. Actually, I have one question. Soaps or colloids? You can argue this in the Discord. <laughs>